programs in about 90 countries, and they take many, many forms. It doesn't only have to be um, an, a workshop or an edit-a-thon. There's a lot of different things you can do. And each context, each classroom is going to be different. So uh, we don't want to prescribe to you what you should do, although we do have some examples. We have um, a brochure in the back that says 12 lead curriculum. So that's one example of something you can do. But we really want to work with you to make something that's going to be relevant for your classroom. So now I want to share with you uh, what resources are available to you to help you implement a Wikipedia education program in your classroom. So the first thing I want to show you is where you should start, which is education.wikimedia.org. And here you can see the landing page of, um, it's called our outreach page, it's on Wikipedia. And you can see here all of the countries that have Wikipedia education programs. So let's say, for example, you are from Argentina. I'm going to use Argentina because their country page is pretty great. Um, you can see that there's already some people here implementing education programs in Argentina. And you can contact them directly. You can see what kind of things they're doing to get ideas. They have wiki labs. They have educational edit-a-thons, they have some different kinds of experiences, they have workshops. Um, one of the most interesting things they've done is called WikiLisa. Let me see if I can find the information about that. Yeah, so here WikiLisa, they've developed a space for the addition and production of content related to the crimes against humanity perpetrated during the period of state terrorism in Argentina in the 70s and 80s. So they actually are contributing to like preserving knowledge around this topic that might not be there otherwise, and that's what students are contributing to. You can see their metrics here, how many editors, um, how much they've added, and all of the resources. So you can, whatever country you're from, you can see what's going on there. Some countries are, are more active than others. Um, usually there will be a contact here, but we also have uh, something called, well first let me share with you also, if you want to get more ideas you can always go to the news. We publish a monthly newsletter called This Month in Education and you can see what people are doing all around the world. You get lots of contributions every month. If you do something, please share with us because part of my job at the, um, at the Wikimedia Foundation is to collect these stories and instances and help people to collaborate and share information with one another. So you can see that in Cairo they're doing a program. Um, there's some stuff happening in Taiwan. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Um, <laughs> Armenia, um, all over the world. Every month there's more stories. So I would suggest you to subscribe to the newsletter and you will get more and more ideas every month. Um, but on top of that, we have something called the Education Collab. So in the Collab, are experienced program leaders like Liang from all over the world and they volunteer their time to mentor new leaders. So let's say you're interested in doing something in the classroom, you don't know where to start, you can get a mentor from the Collab who's going to help you. We're a nonprofit foundation, we're not here to um, make money off of anybody, it's all done by volunteers um, and if you're so inclined you can become a volunteer yourself. So yeah. here you can find the community, meet the collab leaders here. You can see what countries they come from, what expertise they have. You can contact them directly. Um, and people can help you to start your, your education program in your classroom. If you ha are a successful um, program leader in, your, in doing Wikipedia education programs, you can become a collab me uh, member and you can help others too. There are some benefits to being a collab member. Would you like to talk about what the benefits are? Free trips around the world. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, uh, if you are an uh, educator, actually, I think you, you will love the networking uh, in the collab because there are people really like to share. And uh, I wasn't the, the founder of the, the collaborative, so I was actually 
uh, learn from those, uh, how to say, uh, founding fathers uh, 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 and, and mothers uh, uh, in the collaboratives. Uh, they told us what's the best tools they've uh, used to editing Wikipedia to help students learning uh, how to define a reliable sources, uh, how to uh, have a critical thinking uh, when discussing Wikipedia articles, how to improve other Wikimedia projects. Like there are even students from K to 12 age, from nine, uh, age nine to edit a uh, Wiktionary, which is the dictionary of a, a Wikimedia uh, median dictionary. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of amazing, uh, wonderful cases in Wikimedia Collaborative uh, uh, members' mouth. Right. Yeah. Um, at the foundation, besides the collab, we also have a grants program. So uh, depending on what you want to do, you can apply for grants. Um, for example, if you're a strong program leader and you want to go to a conference and talk about Wikipedia and education, you can get a grant, like Leon. And free stickers! <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, we do have a lot of resources available, and we really hope that you will uh, utilize those. The last resource um, I want to talk about is the team at the foundation, and back here. So we have um, a very small team at the foundation. We have uh, Ty, who is the focal point for the Middle East, uh, Africa, and North America. Um, in North America, if there's any educators here who are at the university level in the U.S. or Canada, there's a whole foundation dedicated just to you called the WikiEd Foundation. Um, they only work with uh, university professors in North America and Canada. But if you're at the uh, high school level or secondary school level, you can get in touch with Ty. Uh, Bahit, he's the regional focal point for Latin America and Europe. And me, I'm the regional focal point for Asia. And that includes South Asia, the Pacific, East Asia, all of Asia. <laughs> so, uh, Every Asia all the, all the Asia. <laughs> so uh, you can get in touch directly with me, and uh, we can get started wherever you need to start. You can just be like, dear Nicole, uh, I'm a teacher in Cambodia, and we don't have computers in our school, but we want to use Wikipedia. What do we do? Um, and we'll work something, we'll, we'll figure it out, see what we can do. So we have the team, we have the collab, we have the outreach page with the newsletter, um, the like country examples. There's also on the outreach page this little tab called resources. You can find toolkits, all the soft copies of the brochures. Um, there's so much, more than I can actually go over here today, but if you give me your contact information, I will uh, send all of these resources to you, um, and you can always get in touch with any questions that you have. And uh, a little bit later today, we're going to explore this and give you some time to look around um, so you can, can see what kind of resources we have. One of the things I want to highlight if you're new to editing Wikipedia is this thing called the Wikipedia Adventure. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's a little kind of game, gamification of like learning how to edit Wikipedia, so it takes you through the very, very basics. Um, so we have that as well. Um, so all of the resources are here. The final thing I want to talk about is the dashboard. So Leon gave you a... Um, a little introduction. Now I have too many tabs. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so about here we go. Here, okay. Yeah. So we have this uh, this tool called the Programs and Events Dashboard, um, and this is helpful to you uh, in the evaluation of your program to see exactly what did students contribute. So if you've assigned students to work on a specific article, you can see what they've done on that article. You can see how many bytes they've uh, uploaded on that article. So you can actually track those metrics. So what we, um, we suggest that you evaluate in a Wikipedia education program is the metrics of what has been added to Wiki, to Wikipedia. Um, also the quality of the article, or the quality of whatever the students are producing. 
and also what have the students learned? Um, and this is something I want to emphasize today because we at the foundation, we don't actually implement these programs. We just facilitate the program to be implemented in the classroom. So how do we know that students are learning 21st century skills, digital literacy, inter information literacy? Like we know um, from anecdotal evidence, right? But um, program leaders aren't always sending us data. And we would love it if, uh, if you implement a Wikipedia education program in the classroom to collect that data and give it to us so we have it. So I would like to emphasize also, please, if you implement a Wikipedia education program, to send us that data so we can advocate. Um, so here at the dashboard helps you to collect the metrics. So what did your students do on Wikipedia? It'll track their username and you can see very specific information. Uh, do you want to talk about art and feminism? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so uh, <coughs> we've, uh, apart from on, uh, work with the, the professors in the university, uh, Wikimedia Taiwan also tried to uh, host a lot of events, uh, physical, online, offline events, including, <coughs> is there a little cat there? Yes. Here, here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, uh, in, in, uh, just like Nicole mentioned, uh, in Wikipedia world, we, we try to uh, uh, represent the real physical world knowledge, but uh, there are still a lot of gaps. Uh, in the content. Uh, so one of the uh, most uh, serious uh, gap uh, or the most uh, long time uh, lasting uh, gap we've observed is the gender gap. There are less uh, female uh, biography on Wikipedia. There are less uh, female related uh, uh, topics on Wikipedia. And fewer editors who are women. Exactly. So uh, in recent, uh, for the past three years, there are a group of community uh, uh, from, from New York, from Taiwan, there are Japan, New Zealand. Uh, this, is the, uh, this year is the third year uh, uh, when in March, when in, uh, uh, what, how do you call it? Uh, yeah, Women's Day, yeah. <laughs> Simple one, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> in Women's Day in March, uh, we have uh, this global editathon, edit marathon to uh, uh, improve the qualities of uh, uh, the art and feminism uh, topics. So, uh, we basically, if you want to find uh, the, so we are a part of the global campaign uh, if you click on find program, and uh, this is one of the, the, this is our program, but we also have, uh, maybe I could, oh yeah, program and event dashboard. You can see there are uh, the global community. Uh, they have 167 editathons around the globe. And uh, uh, for, for this year campaign, we have created 800 articles. Uh, so uh, if we click in, into there, there are, uh, there are the results uh, from Taiwan. And uh, you can see that uh, uh, this dashboard thing is really useful for aggregate the data during that period. Uh, and uh, uh, 